Our teaching today takes us to Ezekiel chapter 36, verse number 26, and it reads as follows. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove your heart of stone and I will give you a heart of flesh. This verse is speaking to, about what God is going to do to restore Israel, not only physically, but also spiritually. And this uh, restoration involves giving Israel a new heart, a new heart that is tender, a new heart that is receptive to God's Word. Also, God is willing to place His Holy Spirit within, within them. And this work that God is willing to do encompasses and involves the new covenant that He is willing to work in and through uh, Jesus Christ. So how does this verse apply to our lives? Well, when you and I are, are willing to surrender our old, our old heart, our heart of uh, hardened heart, a, a heart of stone, when we say yes to God's will and God's way, when we say yes to Jesus, He gives us a, a new heart. He gives us a heart that He is willing to uh, restore, a heart that desires to follow after His Word and His plans and His purposes, a heart that is sensitive to the leading and the guiding and the directing of the Holy Spirit. So as we say yes to God, He gives us a new heart. Let's pray. God, we thank You for the promise that You gave Israel. We thank You for the promise that You give to us, that when we fully surrender to You, that You give us a new heart, you give us a, a new purpose, new direction. So help us to be sensitive to your word. Help us to be sensitive to your Holy Spirit. And as we are obedient and sensitive to your word and the Holy Spirit, we will accomplish great and mighty things for you. I pray this prayer of blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.